Hello, I'm Mayor Mickey, and welcome to another edition of the Friday Wrap for November 15th. I thought I'd try something unique this time and take you on site, though I didn't know it would be quite this cold. There were three main events that happened during the during this past week in the village, so I thought I'd bring you right on site uh, to where it kind of all happened, or at least uh, most of it. Uh, behind me, of course, is the Burridge Veterans Memorial. On Monday, we had our first Veterans Day Memorial uh, event. Uh, it was held here at uh, 12 o'clock noon, and we had about 50 people attending. It started out with a representative from the Honor Flight uh, making some uh, announcements, uh, followed by uh, we had five volunteers that went around uh, around the uh, the actual memorial and read aloud the quotes on, on each uh, right at each column. Uh, followed by a prayer by Father Tom Coys of uh, St. James of the Sag, uh, and it finished up uh, with a, a friend of the family uh, singing God Bless America. Uh, it was a great event. It was last minute. I'm sorry, I just really had to do it. It was uh, uh, the, the day before, uh, probably about 36 hours before I committed to do it and said, you know, I, I just can't pass up this opportunity to honor our veterans at this beautiful memorial that we have here. On Monday night, we had the board meeting. Uh, and uh, it was also uh, very well attended because of the topics that were discussed. Uh, chief among them was the uh, construction of the, the new and expansion of the St. Mark Coptic Church on 79th Street. There were a number of residents in attendance, uh, but uh, probably even more supporters. Uh, they ended up, it was passed in the, in the, by the plan commission at a 6-0 vote and likewise uh, at the board meeting. In addition, uh, they t uh, Steve Stricker uh, and uh, someone from the, um, uh, the pension board, police pension board, to discuss the tax levy, uh, and the, the Pathway Commission also made her, also uh, was heard uh, making a request on their part. The meeting took uh, all of uh, three hours. Uh, it was in addition uh, on Tuesday uh, over, and I of course that was at the Village Hall to my right, uh, to your left, and then on uh, Tuesday uh, we actually ended up uh, the, the police department uh, had I uh, interview had. A, uh, kind of a pre-screening of applicants for the entry level of the police department. Uh, it was uh, it was actually held at uh, Hinsdale Central. Uh, the uh, when I walked in, it was of course my first time attending something like that. I felt like I was at an audition for American Idol because there were probably 300 applicants in the room for two positions. Uh, the the chief speakers, of course, were John Navickus, who's uh, one of the commissioners. Uh, chief uh, uh, John Madden and Deputy Chief Mark Loftus. Uh, they, of course, the entire staff was there filing or uh, processing all these applications. It was very well run. They really had a great idea as to, what, to, as to what, what was expected of them and when the testing would be, which I believe is this Saturday. Well, b besides that, there was also a, a bit of a grand opening celebration uh, over at the Fred Astaire studio. Uh, and there were a number of other, other events around the village. Uh, I, of course, uh, I, unfortunately, I, I, was, I had to film this uh, the day before. Uh, because I was going off to New York City. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, it, was a, it was another great week in Burr Ridge. We certainly do live in a very special place. And I hope, uh, hope you have a great week and weekend, and I look forward to talking to you again next week.